Liliana, I just want to show you what I have so far so that you can get a feel for it. I just kind of made up this cover. I think I, what I'd rather do is work with Jessica and have her make something like this, you know, create a collage from her photos. I also rewrote this article of hers, keeping most of what was there, but just making it fit more to a cover. Um, I created some styles. I played with the table of contents just to find a way to get it to fit. These are obviously not the right page numbers, but that's something that can be played with. This is the main thing. So uh, I laid out uh, Luria's Ethiopia crisis article, and I chose it because it included this interview section, two images, a pull quote, a photo caption, and a photo cut line. So with this article, I was able to create a lot of styles. Oh, also some about the author stuff. So um, I also tried it with a few, the styles, with a few other pages, a few other articles, and it seems to work well. You'll notice, by the way, I did a rule between columns here. And then I did um, the, a technology layout too. So let me show you my process about how I get it done. I go to the beacon, I copy an article. So I'll start with this one. And all I'm doing is just copying it all like this, copy. And then I draw a text frame and do a paste. So that's the beginning. The next thing I do is clicking on this, I just select it all and make it the body style. And I went by what you said. Um, oh no, Caslon made the articles longer, so I went with Garamond, but you can mess with this. It's whatever you choose that you think will help you fit. So I made that uh, the body style. And then with my selection tool, I created an object style for the page text frame. When you click that, you get the three columns and the dotted rule between columns. And then from there, it's pretty easy. There's the paragraph style of headline. Um, I took out this in all of them, leave a comment, and I made a manual return there. And then this is the byline. This is the published on. This is going to be the first paragraph. You can change that drop cap to Trajan if it makes you happy. And then I end up taking out all of the manual returns that are between paragraphs. Kind of a drag. I couldn't find a quick, easy way to do that. I did play with find and change, but it didn't work well for me. So with these taken out, the other style that I've created that makes things easy is um, I put my cursor in the paragraph and I call, no, first I make this a character style that is interview initials. And then I take out the semicolon because you don't need it. And then I go to paragraph style and call it, what did I call it? Oh no, I think I went back here. Oh, what did I do? I thought I did this. <coughs> did you hear Chuck sneeze? Photo caption for blah, 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 blah. I thought I did this, but may, oh yeah, here it is. Interview initials paragraph. So there it is. So you first have to do the interview initials in character styles. And then you go over to paragraph styles and you put interview initials paragraph. Wait a minute, I think I did something there. I think all you have to choose is interview initials paragraph. Right, because I nested this style. 
and I don't know why. I don't know. She's got... She's got three I-O-R, I-O apostrophe R. I don't know what's, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I-R, I know what that means, but what does I-O-R mean? She uses that a lot. Interview, what? Oh, Ian O. Russell, I got it, Ian O. Russell. So probably I'll just copy his and paste them. Because I made that character style fit only two characters. Um, anyway, so that's that. And then there is the, let me get this to jump. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it's working for me. So this you'll have to uh, figure out. Maybe Allura can do that. But for the images, I discovered that the easy... Housing is impossible to find. Oh. Rents have never been higher. Mm. Everything costs... Pause that. Uh, what I've been doing for the images that seems to be working well is dragging this to my desktop and then placing it. And when you just click once, it'll show you how big it is. So I think that these images are plenty big for publication. Um, and then I have, let me make this a little smaller, an object style created for images image with caption. That's one style. It's got a larger uh, text wrap on the bottom. And you know, this is probably going to be larger. This will probably be a two page article. I'm not sure how you want to lay it out. And then let's look at some of the other styles I created for you. And again, I just created these to have them. You can certainly um, change them easy, easily enough. So these two paragraphs are probably going to be the paragraph style called author info. And you don't want to put a space between them because I put that in. And I don't see a photo credit for this, but I did create a photo credit. Let's just pretend. I'm going to say photo courtesy of Elora. I don't know if she took this. So, so my photo credit on image is that. And you can see it on image means it's white text. And then down again in the object styles, I created one called photo credit and this has a transparent black background so you can still see a bit of image underneath it and it would probably be smart to center this and then I'll update that style but I think so you've got the photo credit and then you also have the photo caption. Here is an image. So the photo caption style looks like that. And sometimes you'll center it and sometimes you won't. That'll be up to you. Did I do a photo caption uh, object style? No, I didn't but obviously it would want a text wrap. All right, I can't think of anything else to show you with this. I'm going to package it and send it to you. I think it's a good start. I realize that we probably can't break this up into sections like a uh, health, health and wellness section and a 
politics section and a technology section, though I kind of did. This might be most of the technology right there, these two pages. I think that is. These two pages have all the technology on it. So you could put something up here maybe that says technology, but I don't know if you need it. Um, I think what you should do is what I've been doing and just putting articles in as they fit, right? Because we're going to be tight for space. So as they fit is going to be how we do it. I'm going to save this and package it and send it to you. And I'm going to give it to you from here on out. You and Elora can change whatever you'd like to change about it. I'm not, I'm, I don't feel any ownership to it at all. I just wanted to get you started so that you'd have something going. All right, I'll talk to you soon.